Just a second, chat. I gotta get all my chats up. Almost ready. Don't worry. Yo, what's up, Gordy? All right, there we go. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to the best PC build of your lives. Because we almost did do this. <clears throat> but thanks to your generous slapping of the like button, we're here. Probably should hook up this monitor so that I can read things. Yo, what's up, Richard? How we doing? There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. All right. Well, as you guys can probably see, this is gonna be a pretty cool build. We've got a 13700K, 4080, 32 gigs of RAM, three terabytes of storage. A bunch of Lee and Lee fans, custom cables from Cable Mod, some custom paint work on the NZXT H9 Flow case, and this Rog Strix motherboard. Uh, it's also got an Asus Tough Gaming uh, power supply and EK Nucleus, uh, whatever it's called, CPU cooler. That one. I'm gonna drink a little bit more of this iced coffee in hopes that words will be less hard, you know? I don't think it works that way, but maybe it does. Okay, let's get started. Also, not that you guys care, but I bought this super cheap wired keyboard on Amazon because I keep shipping away the USB dongles for my wireless keyboards. Yep. This keyboard here, I shipped the dongle to Alaska. So, yeah. Well, I got a wireless one now, so I don't have to worry about that. Get away from me, fans. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? over just a little bit. Now it's like the middle of the night for some of you guys, but it's not that late for me, even though it kind of seems like it. Also, I just sharpened my Benchmade knife, so hopefully it's so smooth. Yo, what's up, Dmite? It's a little late, man. It's a little late. Yo, what's up, Heinrich? Good morning, Heinrich. All right, got this Wi-Fi adapter. Don't need that right now. Ooh, what kind of goodies we got? We got a lanyard, some other random things. 
I don't know if we'll need one of those. We might need one of those. Two of them, that's for sure. Thermal pad. Some zip ties. Some cables that we don't need. A user guide, which we personally don't need, but put it all in there. Alright. How are we doing today, Heinrich? Anything else in there? Motherboard's so fancy. It's even got its own little tag here. It's a little like lanyard built in. So cool. Alright, we'll get all this protective plastic off of it so we can scratch everything up. Just kidding, we don't plan on scratching anything up. But I do want to get the plastic off now before we forget. Alright, that seems to be all of it. Remove cushion before installation. Okay. <clears throat> say that like it's easy. Yo, what's up, Michael? Aaron, how we doing? Noble, good to see you. Hey, ever fixed the blow by in your truck? No, I ignored it. <clears throat> like every true redneck, I decided, you know? Still seems to be running just fine. So I left it alone. <laughs> All right. Now that, that is a fancy heat sink for an SSD that likely doesn't need any sort of heat dissipation. Okay. Get our one terabyte SSD in there, and then we'll have another two terabytes go in one of these lower slots. Do you need anything for static? I see people do that all the time, but I've never had an issue. Nope, I don't use anything for static. I just don't rub my feet on my dog before I start working on the computer. I've never had an issue with static. Um, you can get a static wrist strap and stuff, but like it only works if you like hook up your power supply to the um, to the wall outlet and then ground it to the power supply. Otherwise, you're really not doing yourself any good. Okay, this way. It's so pretty. Isn't this such a beautiful looking motherboard? Such a fun little thing there that I'm worried is gonna break for some some unknown reason. You guys, I'm doing this out of order. I normally put the the CPU in first. That's how, know, that's how you know it's late. Can't even can't even recall the order I need to put stuff in. Patrick's in over here on two accounts, trying to pretend like we've got a million people watching. We all know better, Patrick. Okay, that one in there. This one actually has like an extra little M.2 screw, so I'll take it. Take it out, even though we don't need it. paper in there. <clears throat> just want to show my support. I appreciate it. I'm just giving you a hard time. Just a little on rate because it's late. I took a little power nap on the couch already tonight, so 
Hopefully we'll stay awake here in that in the coffee. Ran. I think it's a little cover off for the thermal pad. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Got it. Probably help if I put it back in the right spot, huh? Okay. Turns out we didn't need that. And we can put our 13700K in now. That installed. Get our RAM in here. Uh, I did a smaller build for one of my dad's friends. All the new RGB stuff throws me off. My last full build didn't have RGB. That's how long ago it was. All about that RGB. The RGB just looks so good, you know? There you go. There you go. Uh, so it's Intel reigning over and AMD for gaming. Um, they're very similar. I would say price to performance AMD is going to be better if you're just doing gaming. Because um, that 7800X 3D can like rival the 13900K in just gaming. Uh, but this is a gaming and streaming rig. So um, having all the extra cores of the 13700K is going to help a lot. Uh, it does, but the instructions that came with with it were doo-doo. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you kind of... Seems like some of them, you just kind of have to know what to do with them. You guys, I sharpened my, my Benchmade tonight, and it's... Earlier tonight, and it's so nice and sharp now. I love it. I was struggling to open cardboard boxes with it before. <laughs> it was that bad. And some of it is just people people request AMD or Intel, so you know. You just I just go with whatever people ask for. If you ever have any questions about who the best AIO maker is, it's EK. Just buy an EK. This thing is so good. That fractal one that I used in the last build was good too, but I think EK makes maybe the best ones. And they they charge for it. <laughs> yeah, Benchmade does do that for free, but I have to ship it there since I don't live in Portland anymore. Um, so it, cost, it would cost me the money to ship it to them. Um, but they'll ship it back for free. So. We'll see. I might do that next time. Or if it like ever starts really getting dull. Um, but I bought like a nice kit to, to build it. So, or to uh, sharpen it. I can't remember which one it is. I feel like it's this one. Let's look at the instructions. Ugh. It's one of these two, but I don't remember which. Uh, just, I see, just curious because as soon as I'm in a good spot after the move, I want to build a rig for 
gaming only and put my current rig, which is a 3070 or 3700X for streaming. Gotcha. Yeah, right now I would say best bang for your buck is the 7800X 3D for like absolute peak gaming performance. Um, LJ 1700 is the one with four holes. There you go. Easy. Done. So I'll put this guy away. That's the AMD one. This is for older um, Intel motherboards. Put that away. Put both of those guys back in that box. up underneath it doesn't stick through the holes at all so you just kind of have to line it up pretty good can't reach that with my fingers use this handy dandy wrench that ek gives you no it looks exactly like every wrench you've ever seen right <laughs> <clears throat> you're in the same boat just paddling along right now yeah I was doing that for quite a while with my stream PC. It was really struggling with a lot of stuff. Um, and I just didn't want to spend the money to upgrade it until I finally was like, you know, it's actually starting to hold me back. You know, I wasn't able to do the things I wanted to do with it. And then I finally, finally upgraded it. I had, a, I had a 3700X with a 3070 in it. Um, and now I've got uh, 12700K in it. With the same 3070, and then a bunch of RAM and stuff. Okay. That's all in there. Switch to that. I'm gonna take the rest of this stuff out so I don't have to keep this box up here. Place the stuff out that I need. Then we can put this box away. Go away. What's up, Gerald? How you doing, Vicon? Um, I have been busy with the builds, which is awesome. I'm super excited for that. I should have put this away too. Yeah, it's been really nice to have builds coming in, man. Feels very good for the business to have have builds coming in, making more PC related content because I actually have PCs getting built. You know? All right, well, let's get our case up here. So you might recognize the panels that I was working on and put in that reel this morning. So we've got this one here. This is going to be the back panel. So this stripe will be along this side, and then we've got two kind of parallel stripes along the top, and then all of these I.O. brackets along the back. So, hopefully, hopefully we will have tied in the, the theme pretty well. I hope. Take this rear fan off, because we are going to replace it. We made you do it. You did. I was gonna sit here and watch Chopped or House or something and build in silence. It wasn't for you guys. Okay, I'm not upset. Uh, is packet loss solely based on internet connection and do I lose frames because of it? No. Packet loss is based on internet connection or your encoder. So like, Right Tech was having a ton of issues with packet loss. Oh, wait, wait, uh, game packet loss. I was thinking of frames in um, in OBS. Um, no, it can be due to packet. It can be due to your internet connection. It can be due to the server. Um, it can be due to somebody DDoSing the server. Yeah, it's definitely not like a guarantee that it's your your PC's fault. Wait, I we can we can get away without taking this panel off. 
but so the customer in this one paid for just doing like a reverse vinyl logo but this build is too nice it's too nice to just do a reverse vinyl logo so we're gonna have it engraved so i'm gonna take this piece of glass off we're gonna take it to my engraver and he is gonna work his magic no? All right, it's just... Ooh, I should probably take that fan out before it just, like... Does that again. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Been streaming and gaming on this one for a couple years now, just been waiting to get our final destination in Arizona and back to your real jobs to get some funds flowing again. Yeah, that makes sense. Definitely not something... Definitely not an upgrade that you can do if you're not... You know, if your finances aren't where they... And where you want them to be. Okay. It's on the side. Do these bolts down here. Best of luck, I just started streaming in February. I have a solid setup now, so I should focus on creating content at this point. Especially when I get on a dual PC setup. Yeah, definitely focus on on making good content, you know, building your community. You know, the dual PC setup can come later, because it really does require a lot of extra effort on the front end to get it up and running and money. doing puppy you trying to get out of here you trying to get out of here bud just a sec that looks like I've had enough of you I want out of here probably just too warm for him all right panel removed okay. get a nice little ziplock baggie to these bolts so I can't lose them dog out of the room because he doesn't want to be in here anymore. <sighs> it's a tight squeeze behind my monitor there. Um, I would say that the only reason that packet loss would translate to frames would be the data for the frames are not being transferred fully and data gets lost. Yeah. But there's also, you can also have issues just on the server side. I'm going to be commissioned to build the gaming PC. Yes! Yeah, you're right, Jer. I mean, like, it is internet connection based. It's just not necessarily a reflection of the quality of your internet. Sorry, when we first said, like, packet loss, I was thinking... Um, like lost frames in OBS for whatever reason. So, took me a minute to get my brain sorted out there. Yo, what's up, Gummy? Chat is broken for me here. Can't see anything. Uh, hope you're doing great with this late night build. Hey, thanks, man. Um, if chat's not working for you there, I am also on Facebook and YouTube. So, feel free to, to move to a different chat if that, uh, this one's not working for you. Okay, I'm gonna take these side fans off as well. And then we can consider, we can think about doing like a push-pull config on the, the AIO on top, but I just don't think we'll have space for it. So these will just get donated to a, another PC that needs them. Looking good. Oh, just broke it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with like the mobile app. But like the mobile app and stickers are just not getting along right now. 
I don't know what. I don't know why. If you if you're on like the um, the actual site like kick.com, they work just fine. But for whatever reason on the app, they are not working properly. What's everybody up to tonight? Just not try not to think about going to work tomorrow, because that's what I'm doing. Why only one camera? Um, I have both cameras out on. I'm just there's not really anything to see from the top camera right now. I mean, you could look at the top, very top of this case if you want, but there's just not much to look at. But my beautiful face. Just kidding. Uh, I have 4090, 7950X 3D, Rogstrix X670E, G Skill, 32 gigs power supply. I still have my old PC. You're just trying to show off to the rest of us who don't have that nice of a computer? Hey, you have a good night too, Gummy. Um, you want a dual, dual PC? Do you have a video? Mmm, do I have a video? Ooh, I don't think I have a video of like how to set up a dual PC setup, um, because it really depends on the other hardware that you have. Like, the, the, the biggest, the hardest part about the dual PC setup is the audio interface. Everything else is like super simple. Um, yeah. I don't have a video of that. I could probably put one together. That would be a good one to do. Okay. All of our fan things there. All right, let's put our motherboard in and get it hooked up. And then we'll start putting in our, um, we'll start putting in all of our case fans. And I also always forget to take this thing off, so we're going to take it off now. Yo, what's up, Trap? 250 FPS on Big Map and Warzone? It sure is, man. That sure is. Alright. This guy... Slap it in here. There it is. Now it's in there. Alright. This is kind of tall. We're going to bring it down a little bit. Oh, why was that so loud? So jarring. Uh, just got done cooking up some steaks. Let's go. I'm playing Hopping on Warzone. Our continuing Yellowstone with Mrs. Heathen. Uh, I have never watched Yellowstone. Not because I don't think it's a good show to watch. I just, like, never started it. Seems like a pretty cool show, though. No, I, just, I was just kidding, Shreds. I'm just kidding. That's an awesome build, though, dude. It really is. Um, do I really need to have my old PC to run dual? I already have a really... You don't need to run dual PC. Like, that thing, the, the PC you were, you're talking about with the 4090 is more than capable of streaming and gaming. Like, you don't need another PC. Um, and like, if you don't want to spend the money on the extra hardware and stuff that you need to be able to go dual PC, like, just try it out. Run it, run it as a single PC. Um, you know, put all of your stuff on it, all your, any animations, graphics, all the programs that you would be running in the background, like have all that stuff up and see how you how you feel um, performance wise. Because that thing is a monster and it's more than capable. <clears throat> uh, I mean to contact him as well, just need an armored truck, like, like drop all of his content. <laughs> Mrs. is mad at me, so it really doesn't matter what I do.
only run 150 to 200 FPS while I stream, though. I mean, that's not terrible while you stream, but you should be able to get better than that. Yeah, yeah. Send him a, send him a DM on, uh, on Twitter. He is the man. You're on a 4080, and with 1080, I'm only managing 120. Oh, bro. That needs to be fixed, Patrick. Patrick, what um, what CPU do you have with your 4080 again? Yeah, dude, anytime. Anytime. It's kind of what what we do on the PC build streams. Like, I'll kind of explain what I'm doing here a little bit, but it's mostly just me hanging out and answering questions. It's like free tech support hour almost. Minus the fact that I'm not really like IT tech support, I'm more like hardware tech support. <laughs> Terrified I'm gonna over tighten that one. Alright. Uh, and then while this is sitting here, we're gonna put these guys back in. Trying to find it, but I think it's a 50 Ryzen 9, like a 5900 or something. Okay. The heck? Uh, if it's a Ryzen 9, it would be a 5900. One slot, two slot, three slots. Put on the start on the bottom. There we go. Oh, I got it in the right spot. Yo, what's up, Brandon? How we doing? DDR4 4064 gigs. I assume it's like XMP'd and everything. And what what cast latency is that 4000? Yeah, yeah, just shoot him a, a DM on Twitter. A little bit of paint coming off there. That's not cool. Don't do that, paint. The guilt of PC building. These build streams are solid and super informational, or inform informational. Hey, I love to hear that. That's what it's all about. Making enjoyable content that hopefully you get a little something out of every time. X, yeah, yeah. I mean, the the uh, 5900X is definitely gonna bottleneck your 4080 to some extent, but I, you should still be getting better frames than that, in my opinion. Or trap could could also respond to that, but okay, we can put this guy back up. You guys want to see like the top down a little bit while I'm doing this, or would you rather just have it be on the main front one? Here. Your dinner's getting cold. Well, you can you can eat and watch, right? Um, he doesn't have a way when it comes to my needs of satisfaction. <laughs> Learned so much, man. I was a fish out of water just a couple months ago. Yeah, for sure, dude. Just followed him. Nice. 
Hey, Sunny, thank you so much for the 500 stars. Can't stay, just stop it in and show some love. Cute up, brother. Hey, Sunny, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, let us get our IO, front IO connected in here. Do you guys want to see like the top down camera here? Or should we just go with the, the front camera? Do dee do 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 do. Yo, what's up, Navy? Going swell. The top video is blurred. Yeah, probably because it's just like. Oh no, because I messed that one up. Never mind. Okay. You're right. I totally forgot. I keep forgetting to change that uh, that scene. That scene's messed up. Did I really run that through though? Gosh. Oh well. Oh shoot, Navy's here, everybody hide, everybody run! Hide your kids, hide your wife. Navy's gonna steal them all. Wait. What? It's just out here snatching people. Yeah, USB 3 installed. Um. Yeah, the, the build's going well. Yeah, this is a nice, this is a nice friggin' build. Got a 4080 with a 13700K, 3 terabytes of storage, 32 gigs of RAM. Fully tuned by Trap. I don't know if he's still in here, but he's gonna be tuning this. Um, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say about it. Custom cables, some custom paintwork, as you might have noticed already. And, uh, yeah, all built by yours truly, so you know it's gonna be good. Okay. All right. Let's get some case fans in. Starting with the bottom ones. Trust me with your life, not your money or your wife. <laughs> you guys really need to hit up Trap. He will get you squared away and have your rigs running at its peak performance. So true. Oh, Richard, hello. Welcome to the blue side, sir. What brings you this way? this black look to it yeah buddy It'll be like nice and black for the most part and then there's gonna be some really good red touches to it hopefully everyone including the owner will like it he asked for black and red so I hope he likes the custom paintwork I did if not um, um, I don't really know what to do other, other than repaint the panels black <laughs> Or just paint them completely red. That's a that's an option, I guess. Navy coming over to the green side. Oh my gosh, he's everywhere. It's a little quiet on the green side right now. I don't know what's going on over there. Okay, Get this stuff out of the way. All right. Do these in? Oh no, that's backwards. No, yeah. come back apart, please. <laughs> How did I manage to put that in backwards? There we go. Jeez. Here we go. <laughs> You didn't see that. You didn't see that. 
There we are, just jumping all over the place. Left and right and left and right. I think I see it on your post, very nice. Yeah, yeah, the, uh... Thought on my, uh, my reel earlier today. Okay. Solid CPU-GPU combo on this. Good for a person looking to stream and game on one PC. What kind of price point are we looking at for this? You know, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. I don't remember. Um, I'd have to look it up again. Um, let's see, with the it's got like the trap optimization. It's got like custom logo and everything. Let's see. Let's see. Check on my phone. For, this is for Mr. William. Uh, this PC runs about 4K with all the fans, the optimization, the logo, the paint, uh, and of course all of the components. Just a mere four thousand dollars. Wow, big fail for you. What do you mean big fail, Heathen? What are you talking about? H9 Elite? Yes, sir. This is the H9 Elite. Or sorry, no, no, no. H9 Flow. H9 Flow. Don't get the Elite. Get the Flow. It's cheaper and it has better airflow. How could you not love a Redneck build? I mean, there are crazy people out there, right? Can't beat that price for such a great machine. Right. You like it better over here? Well, then stick around, hang out. My daughter's awake, it's 9.30. Be asleep. Patrick, there's, there's some crazy people out there, you know? I mean, I haven't met anyone. I haven't met anyone that doesn't love a redneck PC, but you know, they exist, probably. Certainly no one that's ever bought one has not, has failed to fall in love with it. Crazy for sure. It's right. Here's this 4200 with trap uh, included. Yep, sounds about right. I think you bought yours before I started bringing on partners too. If I remember right. This was about 4200 or something before, um, like, partner discount, having a partner to creator code. That was the 7900X 3D with a 4080. Oh, the 7900X 3D is a couple hundred, or is an extra, like, hundred dollars or so than, than this one. That is a little bit more expensive. Okay. Um, let's take this guy out of here. Buying a redneck PC and not getting it tuned is like buying a supercar and not knowing how to drive a stick. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite that bad. But, it is certainly leaving performance on the table. There we go. There we go. Okay. Another set of fans here. 
Move that out of the way a little more. You only had Cupcake at the time. Did you use Cupcake's code? I don't remember. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. I don't know about differences in prices, man. I don't know. I just prices whatever I whatever I got at the moment. Yeah, oh, you know what else has changed a lot, Richard? Uh, prices in DDR5 RAM. Like, ridiculously cheaper now than they used to be. Now that I think about it. I would say they've probably, the prices have probably almost cut in half. That's probably the biggest difference. That one's gonna be on the bottom, this one's gonna be on the bottom. Let's do it that way. You've kept up with the price of the components? Me too. <laughs> I just want an FE4090 without all the makeup. Uh, oh, all the markup? Yeah. Uh, good luck with that. Sorry, I was ignoring Facebook chat for a second there. Uh, do you, did you make a video of your PC? Like, the PC I built for me? Uh, I probably built it live on stream at one point, but that was quite a while ago. It was like over a year ago. Um, my stream PC uh, would be up on there somewhere still, probably. Facebook, Facebook yeah, what's up, Jess? Uh, Facebook has started, like, um... They, they, like, after a certain amount of time, your streams just just get deleted off of the platform. Unless you, like, go through and, like, click on save them from expiring. You have to do that with every single one. Oh, it might be, might be long lost. Mr. Silva! Long time no see! So it's time to upgrade now? How about for me? I have upgrades planned for my gaming PC, I just haven't done them yet. First I gotta see if I can get rid of the $7,000 water-cooled one. If I can't get rid of that one, like, that one's gonna just end up being mine, I guess. Uh, they used to be in the high hundreds or so, right? Uh, what did? What used to be in the high hundreds, Brandon? Double stream! Now I can ignore you in two streams, Jess. Just kidding. It's actually a triple stream. There's one on YouTube as well. $7,000 water cooled? Yeah, yeah, Thomas, if you check out my, my YouTube channel, um, I have I have that video up. Um, going through the build and everything. Definitely watch it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, DDR5 RAM used to be like... 250 to, to 350 dollars for like the good stuff um, and now that same stuff is like 120 dollars <clears throat> it is pretty late goofy <laughs> it's pretty late 
I like had to go to the gun shop after work and pick up my pistol that was having issues, and then went to Sportsman's Warehouse and got a um, a boar snake for that new um, XD Springfield XD I got, and then just hung out on the couch and stuff for a while. Had dinner, took a power nap, and I was like, man, I really need to build this computer. <laughs> So here we are. Now, like, this RAM that we have here is, like, $130. This is, like, really good quality stuff. There's newer, even more high-end stuff that's coming out right now that is significantly more expensive, like, $300 to $400, but it's... The stuff, what you would need to, to be able to make it work is also really expensive, so... We don't really spec it very often. We don't, the only... PC I've used it so far in is um, Spartacus's build. All right, so we got those fans installed. We'll get the rear case fan installed as well. Um, and we can get a couple of power cables in before we put in the AIO. Our lone fan. Uh, just go with the 4080, you're not getting that much better performance for the price difference, yeah. Or get a freaking, I mean, I guess if you want NVIDIA, you want NVIDIA, but, or get like a 7900 XTX. Especially if you have an AMD, if you want to go with an AMD uh, CPU. You still want it to be an FE. Well, well. I don't know what to tell you then. Keep on wanting, Thomas. Yes, that's the the moral moral of the story. No, don't do that to me. All right. Yeah, you need like the kingpin motherboard, or you need um, you need another. Motherboard that's a two dim, two dim slot with um, a Z790. Actually, I might not run this up to the top because it seems to reach all the way down low. As a as an interference fit, if I've ever seen one. The Red Devil 7900X FX is a beast. Yeah, I've mostly been using um, like AMD reference cards because we've I've done more water cooled 7900 XTX builds than not. So yeah, it's a seven hundred dollar motherboard for that EVGA. That's the reason why I don't suggest it in very many builds. Because it's not a ton of performance difference right now to get that super fast RAM. I think the other I think the other options there I think there's a gigabyte option um, that only has two DIMMs. Um, and then the other options are like ASUS and stuff and they're like a thousand dollars or more. 
Even the price of your GPU has come down significantly. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly, it be that way sometimes. Come on. Little. This little uh, thing here for the fan cable management isn't really meant for this thick boy. This thick boy fan cable. Okay, got that in there. We can put our CPU power cables in real quick. Uh, personally, wasn't that impressed with my Ryzen 7 8800X. Might do Intel next round. Um, price to performance, the X3D CPUs are better for strictly gaming, Thomas. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Intel's, Intel is good as well, so, can't really go wrong either way right now. Both, they're both pretty solid. Red cables! Okay. Don't need that. There's GPU power. What's this? There's a CPU power. There's two SATA cables. I think we only need two. This is... The other kind of GPU power, we don't need that one. There, that should be our EPS. Um, I don't think we need this other data power. And then motherboard, extra combs. Cool. We're good. I'm far from getting another PC right now, but I hope by December I can get another one. Hey, let's go. I want to build another one for me. Buy me one, Thomas. Just kidding. Are these cables so cool? We starting to dig the the aesthetic of this Kate, this uh, PC yet, guys? We starting to feel it right now? These are like, these are like fluorescently bright. They're super cool. Buy the water cooler one for five hundred dollars. Um, that covers the distribution plate for the water. <laughs> and that's it. You're less than 10% there. Appreciate the donation. <laughs> this red is so cool. It's like very, very vibrant. And it actually, the color matches up pretty well with these um the the red like custom paint that i did which is pretty awesome considering they were both bought online but like that ain't half bad i know they're not like the same but not terrible not terrible especially when you get the light on this stuff it's good it's gonna look great They're bright! Heinrich, how are you still awake, man? Also, have you had your interview yet for that... that job? Or, like, the final interview or whatever, or heard back? I don't know, I don't remember what stage exactly you're at with that. Do you take daily payments? <laughs> uh, maybe if you put down a pretty significant down payment? And consider it. And I need direct access to your bank account, so you can't try and ghost me and close your credit card. <laughs> Had a phone call today, find out Tuesday. Ooh. It's our job and we need it now. Alright. 
Got those back there. Um, I think we could... Before we go any further, let's get the uh, Lee and Lee fan stuff set up here a little bit. So this guy... Could just run him along the top and then out and then get him to like right there. That would be perfect. I'm a machine! Sorry, the only thing I can think of when you say I'm a machine is Burt Kreischer's The Machine uh, stand up skit. <laughs> Make me want to get those cables and changers out. Yeah, buddy. I think I think these red ones... You might be able to get these direct off Amazon. I can't remember if I got them off Amazon or if I bought them. I think I got these ones on Cable Mod. But sometimes, if you have the right, for the right motherboard, you can get them directly off Amazon. They're like 110 bucks? 120 bucks maybe after shipping? Before taxes. Um, I either order them direct off Amazon through the Cable Mod store, or I buy them directly from Cable Mod's website. Um, there are other brands out there. They're just one that I trust, and their their configuration and compatibility tool is really good. So I tend to tend to use them more often than not. If it's a cable extension, I'll use kind of whoever, but for cable, for full cable kits, they're, uh... Ooh, God. I'm gonna take this and put it back in the case for I forget about it and step on it a little bit again. It goes in the front. I got a little bent. A little bowed right now. Gotta straighten her out a little bit. Basically built like a redneck PC. There you go. Built like a redneck PC. The ladies say he can stay up all night long. Just like a redneck PC. Wait. What? Is that all? Done. Yeah, it's not that bad. Like, they're not even, like, I mean, they're custom, it's a custom kit or whatever, but, like, it's not, like, a custom configurated kit. Like, it's just a standard color that they have. Um, but, yeah, just check their Amazon website first, or Amazon store first, just because it's faster and you don't have to pay for shipping. But if they don't have it on Amazon... And yeah, just buy it off their website. Just make sure you get the right one for your mother or for your power supply. Okay. Let's get this guy installed. So we'll put this in here. Get him hooked up to USB 2. Okay, there's that. These guys. Plugged in as well to the fan header. There. Sorry, you guys can't see this. Go. Oh, got that plugged in. So that is gonna go just like that, I think. All right, I don't know how well y'all can see in the this dark little corner there. Oh, that fan's not, or that light's not even on. Can't believe you guys let me get away with this. Okay, so right here, where I wanna put this, and then I've got fans coming from over here. This is really the limiting factor is this guy here. So let's get this guy installed. 
right now. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Actually, before I move, get that one, do anything. Get him, like, actually routed in here a bit. All right, chat and red, time to go to bed. Hey, you have a good night, Thomas. Appreciate you hopping in. The wifey will kill me before I get them and able to install them. Nah. Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? Unless, of course, she is also gets notifications on your Amazon account like my wife does, in which case she will definitely know. Backing off here. Installed perfectly. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so good. All right, I gotta turn it towards me now so I can get these other ones installed without hurting my back. Because leaning over to the side does not feel great right now. So that was the rear one. There's the side ones, and the bottom ones. Okay. So there's all that. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to organize this all so it looks real good. Alright, I can throw a couple of zip ties down low here. Kind of make this look a little tight. It's her Amazon account. <laughs> uh oh. Well, maybe she won't notice. GG's weak sauce. <laughs> Yeah, are you gonna go cable shopping? All right, you do what you gotta do. Cable management looks pretty good. Um, I think we can. Why is this so far away from me, you guys? Okay. 
think we're gonna route these guys up here, like so. Don't know if this thing's long enough. Okay, sorry, I have to point this towards me, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to do this. Just give me one second. one in there. That was the heart that's gonna be the hardest one, so these ones should be pretty fast. There we go. Okay. Alright, now you guys can look. So we routed routed our uh, CPU power cables back there real nice. They look okay from the front. They're not going to be really well visible from the front anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's get... Let's get our AIO installed, eh? What do we think? BRB gonna go cable shopping. <laughs> nice. Just keeping addictions alive. One one viewer at a time. Holy AIO, Batman. I know, dude. I'm telling you, this is... Ah! It pulled the sticker off! Pulled the EK badge off. I think this little badge has plastic on it, too, so let me get that off before I attempt to reattach the badge. Better plastic peel. Alright, that looks good. Wow, this is a really nice AIO. Okay. I need to find a new, uh, Supplier for their plastic because this stuff is garbage. It's like The adhesive is so strong that it's like ripping pieces off of it and then like the plastic tears because the adhesive is so strong it's Ridiculous Trying to cable on makes the new 40 series GPU power cable now too. Yeah, yeah, they do. That's what this is Okay, this guy's definitely gonna have to get installed this direction Like shoe Concerned about the fans hitting that. Here's for good reason. Kind of, I might actually have to install the fans on top of this guy. 
think we're gonna have to install the fans on top of the radiator. That way there's nothing moving up against the, uh, there won't be anything moving up against the um, uh, cable. Even though this is clearly like designed to have the fan there. And can I go the other way? Would this be better? And the fan's still gonna kind of be there. figure out how to make it work this way. Okay, so that's to the back. Tails towards me now. This guy off. on top like this. Some proper engineering now. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is towards the back. Okay. So we want it to be like this. I want the cables on this end because they'll be more out of the way. So this guy will connect in here. Connect it this way. It's gonna go just like this. Tubes at the front. Yeah, tubes will be towards the front and it'll reach down. Like I need a ease. Nope. It's gone. I thought they were gonna go towards the back. I was looking at doing it towards the back, um, but it seemed like it had the same same issues except for this 
actual hard piece was starting to run into the the cables and it seemed like it was going to be even worse so I said screw it we'll just go with the original dir direction and figure out how to make it work. tempted to like leave these last two bolts like undone and then I could actually shift this guy a little bit further away but this ridge might get in the way here that would be like an absolute last resort but don't think we'll have to do that bolts are enough, right? Just kidding, just kidding. I mean, really, four bolts are enough, but we're not gonna stop with four. Phone is dying, gotta go plug it in, no! Don't do it! Come back! See, I can't stick it out that far. Bummer. Let's back down for a second. <clears throat> I was trying to bias the AIO towards the front of the case, but it'll hit when you try and reinstall this thing.
And that's what she said, but I can't find the hole. <laughs> Wait, maybe that's what he said. I don't know. There we go. And was that like a some it had to go in at like a weird angle? It wasn't going in straight. Vibes, yo, what's up, sweaty? Yo, you figure out uh, you figure out your power supply size yet? I can't believe you're playing on a playing gaming and streaming off a of 1650. That's wild. Uh, nope, that's not the right numbers. That's just telling you the uh, frequency of power it can accept. You want like 500 watt, 650 watt, something like that. That's better. Now those cables won't hit the fan. Ow, that hurt. Okay. Gotta take it off here in a minute. All right. Cool. All right, let's get this guy out here. Um... I don't know why they split these up like this. Really dumb. Look at that, Heinrich. Not a problem in the world. Not a problem at all. Ready, ready? Spins. No sound, no hitting. Looks good. Looks a good. Ooh. I took a chunk out of my fingernail. It's gonna look kind of gross, but I'm gonna, gonna take this off. I'll deal with it later. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna go just like that. Ooh. That would stay on.
Got that. These guys. Okay, two, three, C number four. What a majestic sight to see. A PC builder in his natural habitat. All right. All right. I even took off a chunk of my fingernail somehow. Hey, you doing, Tyrell? It's good to see you, bud. Okay, this is gonna be our pump. The CPU OV. Yeah, your pump is down here. Okay, it's weird. Okay, your pump is there. We'll, uh, that tight. All the way up to the top. And the back side. We should be able to kind of pin that back. Okay. We've got this guy. RGB. Is going to control RGB for the pump and fans. Run it up to the back, and then we're going to bring it back down in here. Hook up to that RGB header. These guys back down a little bit. Okay, and then we just need to route the CPU fan back in here. Very tight spot. Go! Done! Uh, just getting done with this build, building late night tonight because I don't know why. <clears throat> I was just busy doing other stuff tonight, um, earlier this evening, so.
getting a little toasty in here. Oh, thank goodness, I think the AC just kicked on. That looks good. So, let's include, no, let's clip that first, actually, so it's, I have to deal with those later. Okay. Include these in this bundle right here. CPU cables in there too. That. Pretty good. Um, now let's get our power supply out here and we can plug in the rest of our power cables. And then we just gotta do some cable management. And then we can get our 4080 in here. What are you up to tonight, Tyrell? Okay. Motherboard power. Done. GPU power, done. Got our SATA cables here. Needed the uh, screws here for the power cable, or for the power supply. Hold on. Okay. Got our CPU power cables into the power supply now. That's all installed. 
Let's get our motherboard power installed here. I did like rip back some of my fingernail here. Alright. At least hopefully now I won't rip it back any further. What a monster build those Lily fans are super nice touch. Yeah, dude, they look so good. Motherboard cables installed. Just shifting these combs back here a little bit so this looks a little more uniform. Alright, now let's I'm gonna manage this back. Oh, we have a casualty. Uh, these are separate. These are, um, these are, uh, cable mod replacement cables. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can fit through there. Extra, extra force there to get that motherboard cable to really get in inside of the, uh, the cable channel so I could um, tighten it down. Make it look all nice. Sorry, you guys don't get to see the amazing cable management techniques I'm using right now, but it's, uh, it's a little hard to do when I don't have the, the back of the case facing me. A 
Okay. There we go. Let's get this 4080 installed. And then, uh... Woo! Don't go anywhere. And then we can figure out the rest of the cable management. Where is the button? Okay. Ooh! This 4080 comes in the largest box I've ever seen for a 4080. <laughs> for any GPU, for that matter, I guess. Talk about pulling out all the stops. You know it, man. You know how we do. It's a 600 watt? Okay, you're good. You're good with the 3060 then. If it was like a 500 or less, I would have been concerned, but a 600 watt is is fine. This GPU is also crazy, so it comes with an extra fan that you can put on top for better airflow. The standard cables. It comes with RGB cables for RGB connector stuff. And then it comes with this RGB stand. And then that is the actual GPU itself. Yeah, so this fan technically can connect up here. It looks ugly, and I don't think I'll put it on there, because it looks terrible. <laughs> like, it seriously looks awful. Like, here, let me, let me just show you what it would look like. It would look like that. Like a tumor on the top of your, your GPU. You don't need it, taking it off. Not installing it, I'm sorry. It's got just a little bit of plastic on it, not too much to peel off. Oh my gosh, of course. Of course, the pull tab comes off, but the plastic doesn't. It doesn't seem to have any plastic on it. And it does not feel... Whoa! Caged Kira coming in with a 10 gifted subs? Thank you so much! What the hell? I know, Richard, isn't that ugly? So we're leaving that fan off. Kira, thank you so much! Thanks for the advice. Hey, no problem, sweaty. Okay, let's, let's get this 4080 in here or I get more distracted with crazy subs being donated over on kick. Come on. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get those inside the case. Boom. See how much better that looks without some weird tumor on top? Okay, the other, the one cool thing about this is this actually has a cable so that this stand and the fan and the lights on here can be ARGB, so like they can be controlled by the motherboard and not by like a third-party software. So we're definitely gonna do that. Hey, you have a good one too. Thank you so much again. Like that's that's so generous. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you can enjoy the beauty of this build before you have to run. It's amazing. It's one sexy computer, all right? All right. 
Yeah, uh, rotate this towards me a little bit. Oh gosh, not off the top of the thing. Okay. So this guy goes up here. You just redneck him off the bed. Gonna have to watch the end later. All right, man. Thank you so much for hanging out, Patrick. Appreciate you. Okay. Well, that one just goes in the end of the GPU there. This one goes right here into the end of this guy. And this guy can go wherever. I mean, we can probably... And it doesn't quite fit over I don't think we can put it over there. We could probably put it on the top of this fan. I don't know how beneficial that would be to have it up there. Like, it doesn't seem like a great spot to put it, but... It might be the only spot we can put it if we want to use it at all. Like, this is like a little magnet. I'm not really... Like, it would have to be leaning back to fit here. Hmm. We might not use this. We might not use this GPU support. I hesitate to use it as... Um... Use it, like, on top of this fan. That worries me a little bit. Like, I feel like it's gonna push on this fan too much. I don't see hardly any sag in this thing. I think there's a little bit. That just could be just because it's not actually tightened down yet. Yeah. Holy sh Shit is right, Heinrich. I think 10 gifted subs is enough for me to swear on stream, huh? Hey, you take care too, Patrick. I said Cage Kendra the same time. I had to say Cage Kira. Okay. That's all in there. I think we're gonna leave this off. Um, I just don't think it's a good idea to in include it on there. If the customer wants to put it on later, they can definitely do that. I just don't think it's a great idea right now to have it resting on that fan. I would say they're better off getting one of the ones that hangs underneath or something. Um, but we will take this other RGB connector. There's this one that's a single one just for the, just for the GPU. And we'll take it and plug it in. The reason why I'm doing this instead of there is a third party software that you can use to control the RGB of the uh, of the GPU, but that's just one more piece of software to have running um, on a PC that's going to be gaming and streaming. It just you know, the fewer the fewer things running in the background that don't need to be there, the better, right? So that's why we're doing this. Yo, what's up, Tim Sanity? How we doing? I mean, I just had Cage Kira come in here and just just casually drop ten gifted subs. So I mean, that's what's that's what's going on here right now.
Good luck. Good luck on getting me to focus the rest of the night. <laughs> Like literally, Cage Cure just came in, dropped 50 gifted subs, says you're welcome. <laughs> it's like, peace out. Like, wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Raid someone out, checked if they were online, hyped them up, they raided them, and they ended stream. Yeah, it happens sometimes. That happens sometimes. Okay. But like, they literally just dropped 10 gifted subs on me. And they're, all, they're all like, see ya. <laughs> wait, what? What? Crazy. The crazy girl. Alright. This is GPU power cable out here. I'm gonna run it down here, I think. Actually, I kind of liked the look of the one I did before that crossed over the top. How do I feel about that? that looks kind of clunky to me. It needs to come out down here. Back on. Keeps falling off. Please just fit. Could you just could you do that for me? Could you just Ugh, oh, thank you. Looks like it's fully seated. Okay. How beneficial by game and stream from the same PC do you think it would be to replace your 7700X and the 7800X 3D? 7700X? Is that even a G CPU? You mean the 7600X? Is this how many 700 X CPU? I feel like I never see those. Um. Well, it'll probably help a bit in gaming, even if it has like the same number of cores. Um. The 3D cache definitely makes a difference for gaming. I want this little. Soften up a little bit. That looks. I think that looks pretty solid. Okay. On the backside. Is there a Ryzen 7 7700X or are you talking the 7800X 3D? Sorry, 7800X. Okay. All those clipped. Alright. One last little look here at the rear. So y'all can see my amazing cable management work. I could even maybe tighten those together. Might as well.
I'd say that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? There is a Ryzen 7 7700X. Okay. I feel like I never see those around. Um, uh, I would say you'll probably see some performance uh, improvements in gaming. But if you're already going to buy a newer CPU, like another CPU for it, I would probably go with like the 7900X 3D, um, just so you can get like, cause that has 12 cores rather than, oh shoot, did I miss it? Cause that has 12 cores rather than just eight. So um, those extra cores make a lot of difference uh, when you're streaming. Cause you just have other stuff going on in the background, you know? That would be my suggestion. Cause it's not that much more than the 7800X 3D. Like it's like a hundred bucks. I know it was, it's significant, but if you're already going to spend the time and money to replace it. I would go up, go up to that. Uh, and make sure you have a, a powerful cooler. <laughs> Those are a lot of, it's a lot of cores. It's going to create a good amount of heat. Uh, okay. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How do we feel about that cable management job, chat? How do we feel? I think it looks pretty darn good. Everything should be plugged in. Everything looks good. It's all nice and cable. I don't love this part down here, but it it kind of is what it is. It's pretty good. Thumbs up. Perfect. Shutting it. Shutting that part down. <clears throat> These two guys and close up this panel. Red and black is always a good combo. I agree. Now just wait until you see how it looks with the custom panels I did. A side note. I think I need to take this power button back out and maybe sand it down a little bit because it seems to be a little sticking. Maybe I'll just wear it down. Here we go. All right. How do we feel about this paint job? My wife was like not in love with it. Here, I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see the top a little bit better, hopefully. I think you'll be able to see it. Yeah, yeah, so we've got these nicely painted stripes along the top here. Red power button. And then this one painted stripe along the back. And then that obviously ties in on the inside with the red cables the red, uh, what's it called? IO brackets. I don't know, I really like it. And I think I did an amazing job. This is literally just like laying down masking tape and then spraying. Like that's how, that's how nice this new paint I got works, man. It looks real good. That H9 case is a beast. Does it feel all flimsy with that open corner? No, it really doesn't actually. It feels pretty good still. I just gotta cycle this power button like 50 times so that it doesn't get stuck anymore. I got a I think I must've gotten a little bit too much paint on like the sides or something. And it, uh, it's a little sticky. No, it actually feels pretty solid even with it open, surprisingly. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's uh, let's power it on, guys. And then we'll get Trap working on this thing tomorrow. And possibly we'll start working on another build tomorrow. Actually, we won't have time to start working on another build tomorrow. We need to do some custom paint work on that build, too.
All right, you guys know the drill. Need some fire emojis. Maybe that redneck engineer with the fire in, in chat if you're on uh, if you're on kick. So that we fire this baby up. Not seeing any fire emojis, chat. And you know I can't turn it on until we get some fire emojis in here. I'm literally incapable of turning it on until I see fire emojis. We can wait all night if we have to. <laughs> Sit here and start cleaning up. You have the power. I guess, I guess uh, nobody wants to see it turn on. We'll just, uh, we'll just have to cut the stream here, I guess, because nobody wants to see it get turned on yet. I haven't seen a single fire emoji in the chat. None. Turn it on! There we go. Okay, we got some. Three, two, one. Hashtag only Dave. What's up, Dave? Vicon coming in over here, too. Appreciate it. Now just imagine all of this RGB. Red. <laughs> Things gonna look prime when it's done. Absolutely prime. Yeah, dude, once it's all synced up, Vicon, oh man, it's gonna look so good. Can't wait to show you guys. Can't wait to show you guys what it's gonna look like all synced up and done. And this this panel right here is gonna have a sick logo right there in the center. Alrighty, well, it's 11 o'clock. Um, I gotta get up early. Like, I gotta be up at like 6.30 in the morning uh, for work tomorrow. So, we're gonna call it here. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. As always, go to redneckengineer.com or send your friends to redneckengineer.com if uh, 
they're looking for a PC or maybe need help picking out parts for a new build they want to do themselves. Um, yeah, and th keep tuning in. Thank you so much to uh, Cage Kira with uh, the 10 gifted subs. That's wild. Absolutely wild. And uh, thanks for letting me hang out. Dude, any freaking time. Anytime, man. Appreciate you hanging out in here, chatting it up, keeping the chat alive, keeping me from just being quiet and doing my nerdy thing. So I appreciate y'all. Hope you guys have a good night and we will see you next time. We'll probably be online for some games tomorrow and yeah, should be, uh, should be a good time. Adios. Oh shoot, we got 13 people in here. Let's uh let's go find somebody to raid. Hang on, hang out in here for a second, y'all. Don't leave. one time. Oh. Colorado Ow. Vapor. Mmm. That's what I'm looking for. Not Ooh. Nathaniel. Oh, that's the that's the other one. Yeah, that's the that's the weird one. 